Here in this video lecture, I'd like to go through various steps that you'll most likely be going through within your requirements gathering activity on an assignment. Here I'm making two assumptions. Assumption number one, you have finished your elicitation. I gave you a definition of what this word is the last video lecture, but it certainly bears repeating. Elicitation means bringing forth. And basically, all we're trying to do is get the all possible information from the various stakeholders so that we can make sure that all data tied to the problem statement or need has been collected. Now on to assumption number two. We have taken the information you've collected through elicitation and have made requirements out of them. And uh, some of you might think, well, why can't you just go ahead and make requirements out of them? Well, you might be using various means of elicitation. And so, and I, and I give you various examples throughout this unit. You would have to agree though that the format of the elicitation can be very different. To continue with the steps I'll be talking about in this lecture, you need to make sure that the formulation is uniform, which is another way of saying you need a standard. Let's go through the steps one by one. First one would be prioritize requirements. All requirements are not created equal, and it would be folly to assume that the requirements you have collected are of equal importance. That would be the same as saying that stakeholders are all alike. Some stakeholders are more important than others, and some are more knowledgeable than others. These elements will be reflected in the requirements priority. There is no standard format, but best practice tells us to include two elements. The first one is actual priority. The actual format is up to you, and very possibly your organization has some standards that should be deployed. Did I hear anyone use the word organizational process assets right now? Just checking. I think we're making progress. Second element you might want to consider is adding a weight to these requirements as well. Of course, it all depends on what your assignment is, but anything you can create in advance to help smooth the process downstream, uh, for example, if you have people who have to take these requirements and, and need to develop something, well then the better off you are. Organize requirements. This action includes categorization into functionality, an order based on the scenario, or any other logical order. This one's up to you. Verify requirements. We need to make sure we understand the requirements correctly so we ensure that the various stakeholders confirm the stated requirements. Validate requirements. It's not enough to make sure that we understood the requirements. After all, we're trying to solve something here, aren't we? Make sure this is explicitly stated by the stakeholders. These steps might not solve all issues for you, but they are a good start. Thanks for viewing.